What's up, YouTube? This is Rodney Naftastic, and you know me, Naftastic EDC. <clears throat> A little bit of rhyme in there for you, trying to be funny. It's not really funny, is it? <laughs> All right, it is Friday on the eve of a day in history that our nation was brought to its knees with terrorism. And this video is not about that. I just wanted to, you know, have a little reflection or moment um, to give my thought process on 9-11, which many Many Americans lost their lives on that day due to the ideal, ideas of a terrorist regime, regime, and it was horrible. So, God bless America. God bless the world. God bless our military. I pray for our government because it needs it. Our government is a mess. And I do not have faith in the administration that's in there now. And that's all I'll say about that. All right, now, real quick, <clears throat> this video is got a package today in the mail. Got a couple in the mail today. Um, what's in here, I know there's a few things in here that I'm going to be modding. So I wanted to open this up. Jeremy, this is for you, brother. Um, I'm looking forward to getting this open, and I'm, I'm going to be going into work tomorrow and working on some of this. I don't know if I'll get it all completed tomorrow. Of course, we've already talked a little bit about some, some things. I, th I think we have. Um, and I, of course, I know what you want, and we're going to go from there. And, uh, yeah. So, let's get into this. All right. I'm going to pull the package off. I'm going to open up. The unboxing is the Demco 20.5 Shark's Tooth in full serration. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I am going to be making, when I get some things set up, I'm still in process. I'm going to be making some titanium scales for this. Maybe my carta, if I can get things worked out like I want. There's already other people selling my cartas. So, he included a note. And I'm not going to read the whole thing here. But, thank you very much. Jeremy, thank you very much. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a package with an artisan package. And I know what's in here, unless he sent something I wasn't aware of. Okay. We have the Tucson TS-273, which we're doing a scale insert change. We're going to be putting some refere in this like in the one I have. Really looking forward to that. Ooh, that detail's a little weak on this one. Action is just great drop shot butter as two sons generally are. My camera's acting funny. Okay, two sun TS-273. Going to be removing this, popping it out, and putting something else in there. Some refer. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Now, this here, y'all. This is the snail trailed up. I like to see that because that means the man uses his knives. Ooh. <laughs> this is so nice. Um, forgive me. I'm having a, a jealous moment right now. Um, wow. This is nice. I like that a lot. Feels good in hand. Wow. I'd be torn though between this and the Spidey Chef. Spidey Chef is sweet too. Sort of the same style, you know, look and theme. A little bit different profile. This is more of a uh, utilitarian, not necessarily slicing or kitchen friendly. But what he's wanting to do to this one is remove the blue and possibly frag. So I'm going to see what I can get in my fixtures done. 
I doubt I'll be able to work on this one tomorrow. This is going to take a little bit of time. I'm pretty sure I might be able to get this, the 273, done, possibly. Um, I don't. Not only do I have to go into work tomorrow, I have to go in and work um, and do a few jobs. And we got a service crew coming in to work on the air compressor. And um, yes, but I'll be clocking out and doing what I call government work which I have permission from my employer to do so because he's a good boss. All right, now, wow, M390. That is, that is nice. Now, is it's the swish, sleaze, slice, slushy. <laughs> How do you say that, y'all? In the comment, and swish, sheesh. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm being funny. It's the, the swish Bowie, right? The swish, swish Bowie. Swish, I don't want to bludgeon his name. Forgive me if the if the designer of this knife happens to ever watch this video. I'm just having fun. No ill intent meant. <laughs> Love the knife. This would look really good with a custom backspacer. Which this is nice. It's got some gripping on it. Which I could do that with a custom piece. You know, this would look really good with some... Uh, stylize a piece of refer or some uh, my carta or even I mean basically anything some stabilized wood it screams uh, mod me it does it, it does have a nice grip in there to grip that way and the reverse grip and you got your thumb there this is a, a task driven knife lockup is good we're just over 50% Action is like a typical spider co on washers. Blade centering is right down the center. Just a, just a, I mean a very minute amount to the show side, but I would say that that's centered. And the 273 is, it's just a, it's pretty much centered too, but maybe just a hint to the back, the back side, the non-show side. And the detent is a little weak on this but you know I've gotten to a habit handling so many knives a lot of times I will I go too slow and I cause a knife to fail and that gives me a, a wrong impression because a lot of knives detents are great yeah the detents good on that it's not too weak so those are those two in the artisan case so my question is where does the artisan at Jeremy where's the artisan you, you, you should have went ahead and sent me the third one. I would have done something to it, too. <laughs> okay. Now, we have something else in here. And in the note, I didn't fully read the note because I didn't want to take the time. But he said he was going to send something extra as, as a gift to me. And I hope it's okay that I'm mentioning that. I'm, I'm sure it is. So, let's see what this is together. Okay. I have not opened it up yet. It's a nice little velveteen bag. It feels... Okay, he mentioned something about one of my previous videos. I got an idea. I got an idea what this is. By the size and the weight of it. I hope it's what I think it might be. To go with the collection of things that I already, that I already have. Oh my God. Oh wow. That is awesome I love that turquoise my wife is has Native American in her, in her family so she'll really get a kick on this too now we don't smoke of course I used to smoke many years ago this is very nice brother thank you so much Made in the USA. It don't get no better than that. Thank you, brother. Very, very much. This will go in the collection. And as you've seen my entire collection, I do not have this one. I'll give you a nice detailed shot of that. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, brother. And this is one of the nicer cases. I don't have any velvet Zippo boxes. All mine are the hard plastic cases or the 
the little tins. Very nice, brother. Thank you very much. Let me real quick look at this note and see what all they said in here. Let's see. Da -da -da. All right, yeah, get with them on the frag pattern on the spider comb and the and the refere mod in the in the 273. saying they gave me the gift and it says right here it's a zippo he's no longer a smoker either congratulations he wanted to send it to me since i collect them he purchased it in mexico okay yeah i've never seen this this that particular zippo anywhere else either brother so that makes sense very nice i'm a turquoise fan too i don't have a lot of it my wife has quite a bit of jewelry with turquoise in it i do have one ring that her mother gave me but i don't ever wear it awesome 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 yeah, i got his address and all his contact information jeremy you are the man i appreciate it i will keep you informed of what's going on here and we will get this taken care of brother i look forward to this and many other future endeavors that we decide to take on each other and and have a friendly knife fellowship all right i got another box so there's an address right here so i'm covering it up and there's an address on this side so i'm covering it up i'm going to use the mco 20.5 and let's get into this this comes from my buddy, Mr. Cortez. Okay. And he is a fellow Tucson nut like me. Okay, got some packing. Bear with me, we have Tucson. And we have bench made. Okay. Review coming on this. This is sort of a love-hate thing. I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. I love it. But I sort of don't like it a little bit too. If that makes sense. Anyone that has one knows what I'm talking about. It's very fidget-friendly knife. Okay, let's get into the Tucson first. This one's going to be modded. I got some ideas. This is the 191, I believe. This is a Tepe, which is screaming for some work. Very, very nice. I love the profile of this. Sort of similar to the Shockwave. Let's see. Good detent. Just a tad light, but good. I could fail it. Let me see if I can. It's it's so close to. It's it's pretty good, y'all. You see there, it almost got it. I love that clip point style blade. This is the 191. I'm pretty sure is what we said it is. I believe it is. This is number 80. So it's a fairly young one in the realm and this is in the s110v i was watching a, another youtuber he did a test on this and he, we didn't get he didn't get quite the results he was hoping for out of the 110 but not really worried about that a whole lot got the hidden screw pocket clip i'm thinking of doing a pattern with these slots Changing, changing this pattern a little bit, adding some more, doing something. I'm not sure yet. I might leave it as is, just do some anode color on it. Or maybe do some custom engraving work, which I'm getting, trying to get something set up at work to where I can do custom letters, you know, and, and fonts, and actually put names and stuff. And I'm thinking about um, doing a Naftastic knife, something probably one of my favorite two sons that has an area and machine Naftastic into it. Or, you know, maybe... Maybe a different knife, but you, you get my drift, what I'm, what I'm talking about. All right. Action. Very nice. 
feels really good in hand in hand the palm swell back here feels really good i like that it's a full four finger grip just not quite much left over fits great in my medium size hand that's not really a finger choral if you choke up on that the way the choral backs off there it will grab you action is really nice on this can i yes i can reverse flick it no problem which that's a a plus for me but i definitely would not delete the flipper on this it's minimalistic i might reprofile it just a tad very very nice very nice okay and now this is probably going to be getting some custom scale mods not sure what i'm going to do yet but this is the bench made the 550 bk uh, olive green and this is in 154 cm this is made in 2018 Oh. First grip T and I have the Demco not the Demco, the uh Ritter RSK, which is similar. 154 CM Yeah, see them holes I just can't seem to get the the flick right but I can get the thumb flick okay action is really nice on this slow roll works good nice and drop shut sort of hard to tell in the picture but this is really like a, a olive green I've seen some scales that would look really good on this, some custom scales, but I like this as is too. This feels really good in hand, the feel. I don't, I, I'm definitely digging the RSK more, the Ritter Hogue, but this is, I like this sheep's foot blade. Very, very nice. And the centering is to one side, just a little bit, not much, to the back side. It's hard to see. And there is no detent on this. You know, I don't know if I can... I see, I just can't get my finger out of the hole because <clears throat> whenever I flick a knife, it's like my skin and my finger gets caught and doesn't I can you know use the wrist and flick it out and the action of the of my motion gets it open but this has a nice grip either way you know you got pinch here and here that clip does have a little bit of a warm spot here but it's not bothersome there's so many options and so many things you to do that, that that you can do with this knife it's it's crazy and then let's see what else is in here million dollars oh just a little paperwork okay all right that's from my buddy Cortez and then the last mod that come in yeah I'm not gonna be doing nothing with these for a while they're gonna be on the back burner But I will probably be doing something with this one tomorrow. This is the new QSP Legatus in the G10. But it has a fatal flaw. Fatal. Now what I'm going to do with this one before I explain the flaw 
is I'm going to be doing a frag probably a smaller frag than I just did on the Spyderco Spidey Chef probably closer to the uh, the one I did on the Chavez or the Cold Steel probably around just over an eighth of an inch and I'm gonna I'm gonna thin these scales out some I'm going to put the pattern and the pattern is whatever the pattern I do here and here it's gonna roll around the frame from one side to the other and blend so the pattern will be flowing from one side to the other and both sides will be done I'm going to see how the radius is here I'm thinking about rounding these corners off to implement the same radius here here and here the detent is great on this knife but the lockup there's something in here sticking that you cannot release it it literally seizes up I'm believing it's a burr or something a landing that I'm gonna to have to adjust and take it apart and figure out what's going on it you have to literally I want you to hear I'm gonna break it free hear how that lock stick that is crazy lock stick okay literally you cannot I cannot break it free with my thumb I can't get my finger in there without ripping my fingernail off I have to push now let's do it again it sticks up and if I do it lightly it's not that bad I can get it undone but if I if I open it with nice authority I can't get it to break free and maybe it would break in but I think it's a little extreme so I'm hoping that I can get that fixed overall you know they have a titanium version of this one that is just absolutely gorgeous but it is crazy money and I'm not going to spend that much money on uh, QSP at this particular time any knives right now for the matter of fact um, except for a couple that I have coming some specials that were ordered months ago months months ago but this is a pretty cool knife it's got G10 it's got a titanium pocket clip looks like it go in and out of pocket pretty well wow that is really locked up fairly deep carry in the pocket but yeah gonna frag this one up gonna probably do to give it almost that manix look that manix manix feel get that pivot the uh, liner lock figured out what's going on with it centering is a little bit to the show side not much not really sweating that blade material is uh, 14C 28N. I like the blade shape and the forward chorel. It's got a really nice purchase in hand. Feels really good. And again, like I said, I'm going to do the frag and do some rounding and radius and it's gonna come up pretty good. This is one I won't be working on for a while. I might tinker with it tomorrow, I don't know. But yeah, this is the QSP Legatus. And that is all I have. Yep. And also, you know, I showed the video of this one. I got to do the thumb stud. I got to get the thumb stud first. I'm going to be doing the flipper delete on that. I got to change these scales out after I do some color changing on them. And I'm also working again on a titanium set of scales for the AD 20.5. All right, y'all. That's what I got for you. I'm going to run out of time here. This is Rodney, you know me, Naftastic EDC. And y'all keep that edge right. And remember, remember what I always say. Jesus is the real thing. God bless America and everyone else too. 22 a day, y'all. Keep our country in prayer. Our country needs prayer. If you're not a praying type, that's not a problem either. God still loves you. And I love y'all too. Bye now.